What is up, Buck people? It's Rondé Barber, your host of Film Session presented by Microsoft Surface. And as you can see, I got an upgrade. Buck's 20 to 17 win on the road at Minnesota, and I would be remiss to not make this about one of their returning sons, and that is Antoine Winfield Jr. I could have done this, a clinical tape, on the way that Devin White tackled on Sunday, but instead, I'm gonna spend some time talking about your and I's favorite free safety, number 31. Here we go. We know he's playing free safety now for the Bucks only, but he also gets to come down then into the box. He's not just a middle of the field defender. He's actually, I think, at his best when he's near the line of scrimmage. Here he is, number 31. We all know what he looks like. About 5'9", 215 pounds, and he is a wrecking ball of a football player. Reminds me of me, except for bigger and maybe a little bit more talented. All right, here you go. First play action pass of the game. Kirk Cousins is gonna give his back, and it's basically saying that this running back, Madison, you have to block 31 one-on-one, -on -one, so it gives time for Kirk Cousins to run this deep play action pass to their number one receiver, Justin Jefferson, against our number one corner, Carlton Davis, and this is a really good route. How do you beat cross-blocking running backs? You give them one direction, you never take your eyes off the quarterback, I know this, and you make a miss in space. This back had no chance. With all that room, all that space right there, no way, Antoine Winfield forces incompletion, great play. All right, I'm gonna move on to my favorite play of the day on defense, and it is, again, number 31, and this time in one of Todd Bowles' exotic blitz packages. All right, what do we got here? Third down, and you're expecting Todd to bring pressure. Of course you are, because why wouldn't he? He has seven guys, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys near the line of scrimmage. He has two linebackers here, he has a linebacker here, and then of course our two down linemen on one side of the ball. All right, what makes this blitz interesting to me is that it's only five man pressure when it looks like they could bring the house. What do you start with this? Man to man up top. Put your goat on their goat and say, take him away. Uh, Kirk Cousins is unsure if 31 is coming, so he's looking to this three-man bunch on this side of the football to say, hey, this is where the route combination can come out of here, right? It's gonna be uh, some sort of go, some sort of in-breaking route and a pivot, right? Doesn't matter. What we're looking at is this pressure up top. This ultimately ends up being a five-man pressure, but Shaq Barrett, he ends up coming out. You'll see that. Uh, Levante David, he also ends up coming out. So it's really just a five-man pressure all on that side of the ball. So what does, that, what does that create? It creates four guys blocking one, two, three, four, five guys. Somebody's gonna come free. And again, it's up to this running back, uh, number 30 here, to make a decision. And when Devin White comes behind Kalijah Kansi here, number 94, guess who's free? There's nothing better than free runners to the quarterback. But once you get there, there's nothing better than a sack, a sack fumble, and a sack fumble with a recovery. Gets the trifecta here, number 31. Perfectly played, great play by the Bucks defense. Now, we all know that this game did not start very well for the Bucks on offense. However, right before the half, all these guys at line of scrimmage, you're not really sure who's coming, if they're coming, but you're gonna see half field defender, flat defender, flat defender, half field defender, you're gonna get two linebackers dropping back in coverage, and this guy is actually a spy. In Tampa cover two, we have a middle run-through guy. That's actually this free safety right here. So, I don't know what that drawing looks like, but this is basically cover two. And this is, I thought, the first best throw of the day for Baker Mayfield. It's cover two, and his ball has to come out on time because the seam dropper right there is right in his window and it's tight, and you'll see it from the end zone, just how tight this throw is. Uh, I thought he found a rhythm with this throw. Three, four plays later, we get a touchdown because of this. Chris Godwin, of course, is gonna make the catch. All right, One, only reason I wanted to show you this touchdown play, because, again, what are they playing? It's the exact same defense. Flat defender, flat defender, half field defender, half field defender. This is the middle run through dudes. This is Harrison Smith, a really good football player. but. Harrison Smith, I don't know what he's doing. If you got the middle run through and cover two, you're supposed to have the middle run through. And he bites on nothing. And this poor safety, working on Mike Evans down here, 
No chance. Mike Evans goes right by him. Baker puts a perfect throw on him. Changed the game. I wasn't sure about this game, but this one changed the game. Go to the end zone. Let's give credit where credit is due. It's really only a four-man rush, but because of all these guys' line scrimmage, the line has to sort it out. Filer over here, working with Tristan Wirfs. Rashad White, got to do a better job right here, making this block. He doesn't, but because Filer and uh, Tristan Wirfs have this guy caught up, he comes over, helps. I thought this was great. I thought this was good protection all day. Uh, allowed them to win the game late. That's your film session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's the start of a good season. We got Chicago next week. I'll be here again. See you guys.